Hey guys, so I have an old iPad. I think it's the iPad Air 2, which probably makes this iPad like eight years old. Because of that, the battery is kind of shot on it. So I got this tablet holder for my car. Hopefully I can mount it so I can use it as uh, my iPhone rather than a tablet because I'll be able to have it plugged in the whole time. Plus this uh, iPhone holder that I have, it's kind of buggy now, so it's not working really well. Wish me luck. Okay, I think I got this. Here. Would need to be mounted here. What if I want to mount it here? Not here. It would be nice to have it here. How about here? Not sure that the vent clip is seems like this would break pretty quickly. I don't want to put an iPad on it. I would love that orientation right here, basically like how close this is to the dashboard. I don't want it to be too forward. I think I'm gonna have to like place it somehow here. It's too far for the window and it doesn't have like an extension or anything on it. All right, so I got these like alcohol prepad wipes to wipe the dashboard there. They were included with the package. These are so small. <laughs> I'm gonna use a pen to kind of mark the, the spots here. Leaf it off, and there's no turning back. It has to press really hard. The dash is pretty flat. I'm gonna peel this off, and I'm gonna peel this off, and then see if it works. Seems to be working. Moment of truth. Do I like it more like this? Oh, this one, this isn't a bad uh, idea either. I think I do prefer it like that, or like this. I think it's obstructing the vision, so I might get in trouble by the police if I leave it like that. <laughs> this would probably need to go down when I Turn on the heater at least. Hopefully it doesn't look too weird. Okay, so that's connected. And I'm also connected through Wi-Fi to my iPhone. Okay, so I have two concerns and I can't really know until it happens. One, it might overheat. It's already hot right now because it's just kind of chilling in the dash there but that's where I used to have my iPhone and I barely had problems it would get hot but I would never like overheat hopefully this works just fine second is hopefully it stays charging faster than it actually consumes the battery if that makes any sense because if that doesn't work then this whole thing doesn't work <laughs> it's at 97% now, it was at 98, I'm hoping it doesn't go down. After all, it is an iPad and it does have a big battery, it's just kind of done. Works off my phone, it's not the fastest in the world because it's, you know, T-Mobile's hotspot, but it'll get the job done and it looks really nice, so. <laughs> I don't have Google Maps downloaded, I wanna download that as well. I wanna also download Waze, this is just Apple Maps. And I'm gonna see which one I like the best. But for now, this looks pretty good. Hey guys, so you might hear some traffic going this way because I'm really next to the road. But you know, that's the reality of van life. Anyway, I took this bag off the side door that I had and I'm gonna put it on this back door here. This is pretty cool and it's in the back.
So this is where that leather bag used to be. And now I have this space to work with and obviously I'm gonna do something like that. If you didn't hear me because a big garbage truck just passed by, <laughs> I have something like that. And here it is. Let's see if it goes in there. For now, I was able to get the top wire in because it's just a little looser. As you can see, I did have to go over these rings, but still it's a little looser here. While here, it's just like the other one. It's the channel so tiny, like this wire barely, barely fits. I did fit it in the other one that I have on the other door. However, I had a new wire because these have been used. They're a little bit beaten up, so it doesn't really fit very well through there so I'm gonna get a new one from Home Depot and be able to get this done much quicker and much easier for now the solution is these clips what do you guys think yes or no I'm not sure if I like it or not yet waiting for the car to pass I know it's more functional so I'm guessing once I put stuff in it it'll look a little better I think it's too small, like I don't like the sides here. I wish it was bigger, but you know, what can you do? I didn't make it myself. This one fits really nicely here because it's narrower, the door is narrower. I definitely like my utensils here because this is where I usually prep food. So they're like on this door, not a big deal, but why not move them? I also have a bigger pocket here for this chunky can opener. And now it allows me here because when I close this, this kind of becomes my nightstand. So it probably allows me to put some wires in there and stuff like that, with which I didn't have space for before. So, so far, I'm loving it. As you guys may know, there's always projects and improvements on the van. Just like living in a house, basically. So I enjoy these things. Some are harder than others. Some are more frustrating than others. But I still like to do the projects. Check out this video if you want to see more projects that I've done in the van. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.